sarà un anno santo della misericordia. Lo vogliamo vivere alla luce della parola del Signore. Siate misericordiosi come il Padre. Quest'anno santo inizierà nella prossima solennità dell'Immacolata Concessione. The stars in the New Venture Group um, from St. Matthew are getting on the bus to make a pilgrimage for the Holy Year of Mercy as Pope Francis asked us to do. And we are going to St. Lawrence Basilica in Asheville, which is one of the three uh, pilgrimage sites that we have in the diocese. And, because, and we're kind of excited because we're really making this a pilgrimage rather than just a trip. What does that mean? Well, according to the Year of Mercy, we are focusing in on the mercy of God's love. And so we've been preparing for this. We had a meeting about a month ago where we could explain to everyone, all the participants, all the pilgrims, if you will, the significance of mercy and the process. Yesterday, Father Davis had a special time for reconciliation confessions for us so that when we go to Asheville, one of the significant parts of, the, of a pilgrimage is to enter through the holy doors And that means we are giving ourselves to God. We are asking his ultimate forgiveness. Part of it was going to confession. Part of it we will have celebrate mass up there. And really just focus in and on the magnitude of God's love and mercy. like for you? It was wonderful. It Why? was really great. Inspiring, uplifting, uh, give, give me peace. And uh, that's the first time I've come here and I really enjoyed it. The cathedral is beautiful and I Is it, it what you expected? No, actually. I had never been here and I didn't expect it to be that beautiful and, and go back for so many years and they haven't done anything to it, so which is really, really, really nice and inspiring, yes. It was a really wonderful experience. I had not anticipated the Basilica being, first of all, the architectural wonder that it is. 
Uh, so we had a lovely tour. We had a woman who was so excited about the church, about the architecture. And then we had a nice mass, which Father Davis kind of celebrated with Father Boyd, I believe it is. And so it's been a great day. The sun is shining, everything's working well. We're having a joyous time. Well, how do you feel faithfully? How do you feel as a Catholic? Traveling here today with some pilgrims from our parish and just going through this wonderfully beautiful experience. What does that do to you? Somehow it touches you inside and it makes you thankful for what you're a part of and what you have the opportunity really to share with other people. A faith that we all are at one with. So I find that it, it really, it kind of gets to me. Well, I wanted to go up and uh, experience the Doors of Mercy at the Basilica in the state of North Carolina. And I figured it was one of the acts of, of mercy that we could do during the year of mercy. And uh, it was very fulfilling and I felt many graces uh, for doing this and I was very, very touched as I opened the door of mercy and it was like a flood of grace came over me as I walked into the basilica. So what was it like celebrating Mass, co-celebrating Mass in that basilica? Yeah, it was a wonderful experience uh, to be there, especially with our own community, with our own people. And uh, the church is really majestic, the architecture and the stained glasses really it is attractive and of course uh, it is always joyful to celebrate mass in the, such a um, important place and uh, i think it was uh, one of my lucky chance to be there today and i'm really happy uh, to con celebrate that mass i've traveled around the world to many many churches and basilicas i've been to europe i've been to asia i've been all over and i've never been in a church our cathedral or a basilica that had the most beautiful stained glass windows that they had in this church. They were absolutely magnificent. The color was incredible and um, I enjoyed that so much in the various scenes that they did that were, were very uh, touching, you know, very memorable. What was that like being in that basilica? It was very different. It was very uh, spiritual. So what does that mean, very spiritual? Why? You felt you were, I felt like I was in a uh, special place. It did have that feeling of the Holy Spirit being there. Yes, yes it did. Yes, I've, uh, I was only in a similar place like that in Rome, where with that big dome, something like, like that. Now that, this, this is the second place that I saw something like, like that. Why did you come here today? Why did you take this pilgrimage today? I mainly came because I've just moved here recently and it was a chance to be part of something that was happening. And then I read up about the Basilica and the pilgrimages and then I had another reason to come. <laughs> was it worth your time? Yes, it was wonderful. The roof was just made of bricks. There was no concrete and there was no iron bars. So it was indeed, it was a, a special um, architecture, so it was attractive. I was just uh, looking at that, and of course, I was praying too. <laughs>